It is said that in ancient times, a merchant brought a donkey from another place. However, due to the mountainous terrain, the donkey was of no use, so the merchant had to leave the donkey at the foot of the mountain and let it graze there. One day, a tiger came down from the mountain. The tiger had never seen a donkey before and was startled by this massive creature, thinking it was a divine being. The tiger hurriedly hid in the bushes, secretly observing the donkey movements. A day passed, and the tiger didn't notice anything particularly special about the donkey. On the second day, the tiger cautiously emerged from the forest, intending to approach the donkey and investigate. However, as it took a few steps, it suddenly heard a loud roar from the donkey, frightening it. The tiger turned and fled. After running for a while, the tiger realized there was no pursuit and cautiously returned. Gradually, the tiger became accustomed to the donkey braying and mustered the courage to approach it. The tiger first used its front paws to tease the donkey, then touched it with its body. The donkey, annoyed and humiliated, kicked at the tiger. The tiger swiftly dodged, thinking to itself, so this guy only has this much ability. After going hungry for a day and night, the tiger let out a roar, pounced on the donkey, and killed it. It enjoyed a feast and then went back up the mountain. This idiom can be interpreted from various angles. From the tiger's perspective, one should not be intimidated by an opponent's appearance of strength. One should not hesitate to confront and resist an opponent who seems brave and powerful. The fact is, those who put up a grand facade often lack substance. They may appear impressive on the outside but are actually weak on the inside. However, this does not mean that one should underestimate the opponent. We can psychologically disregard it, but in action, we must pay close attention to and observe the opponent's movements in detail. Only by thoroughly studying the opponent's situation can we have the correct determination and take appropriate action. The tiger in the story went through such a process. Initially, quietly observing from the forest, terrified by the donkey roar. Then getting accustomed to it, wandering around in front and behind the donkey while still being cautious. Finally, provoking the donkey and discovering its weakness, leading to a decisive strike and a swift victory. From the donkey perspective, its experience tells us that if one lacks genuine skills and knowledge, one should not put on a false show of strength. Life, though beautiful and kind, can also be cruel and merciless. Sooner or later, the false mirror will be shattered by the harsh reality of life. A mask, no matter how magnificent or formidable, remains just a mask, not the true face. And once the mask slips off, it reveals the withered and ugly true self. It is only at that point that one truly understands who is tasting the bitter fruit, life or oneself.